right, well, there's the second video today. <laughs> um, I happened to check my email and I got a message from Josh asking about was I angry with the whole Microsoft repository being added to Raspberry Pi. And, you know, it, it's it's a mixed bag. I uh, I understand why it happened. It was added, put in there to support Microsoft's Visual Studio creator or their code editor on the Raspberry Pi platform. Um, the foundation itself, Raspberry Pi Foundation itself, replied back with, well, you know, it has to be there. It's a repository to support Microsoft. We do this for other software packages. I don't understand why. Well, that's not simply 100% true. The repositories that are there are necessary for the Raspberry Pi to operate. They're not necessary for code development. They're not necessary for the base functions of the Raspberry Pi. They added a repository for a third-party development package that's not included with the Raspberry Pi, number one. Number two, it was added without the user's explicit permission. If you've installed Raspberry, I'm sorry, if you've installed any software on a Microsoft platform, you get the courtesy warning popping up on your screen containing the end user license agreement. Um, you've all seen it. It may say end user license agreement. It may say EULA, E-U-L-A. Um, you should read it. Odds are you don't. Most of us don't. I don't for the most part, unless it's something really, really sketchy. Um, but yeah, so the big security problem is this can actually, when you run an update, it can reach out and ping a Microsoft server. So it does not relate directly to Visual Studio Code Editor. Any Raspberry Pi that runs an update will now ping that server to check for updates. So this could be used for marketing data. It, you know, it could be used for any number of things without the end user's consent. That is the problem. Anyway, we're gonna just, I'll show you a quick way to get over this, get around this for now until we get a better answer. Whoop, I'm hitting the wrong button. I'm using this little bitty Logitech keyboard and it bugs the snot out of me. I'm trying to use the uh, touch pad, but it's a handy damn keyboard to have around. I've showed it before. <laughs> it's handy as hell to have. Anyway, all we're going to do when we're here is we're going to sudo nano, nano, pico, vi, vim, whatever your editor of choice is, <coughs> slash etsy, slash hosts. Right? And you're going to go down to the bottom of it, and you're going to add just this line here. The IP address is 0.0.0.0. .0 the repository name is packages.microsoft.com. Actually, it's the host name in this case, and that's it. You will save the changes and exit out. Just to show you what it does, sudo apt get update. Or, oh, sudo apt update. Or apt hyphen hyphen get update. Anyway, you can see right there the very first line, right? It could not reach this server. Why? Because the IP address is a null address. It doesn't go anywhere. And that's it. That's the quick fix for right now. Okay. And then the errors at the bottom, I was just double checking, all relate to that lookup for packages.microsoft.com. It is a temporary fix. It's a workaround for now until there is some better resolution. And again, my opinion is, you know, okay, if they need it there for the Visual Studio Code Editor, put it there when someone installs Visual Studio Code Editor. Don't do it beforehand. 
because you're giving them any metric of marketing data that they want to use. It's like literally every Raspberry Pi that now runs an update will ping that server. So arguably just using that, you could tell an install base how many machines are running Raspberry Pi, Raspberry Pi OS, formerly Raspbian. Um, yeah, it kind of ticks me off, but it's unfortunately kind of the way some companies operate now. There's not 100% transparency as to why they do certain things. Um, I'm always of the mindset that it is my computer. It's my install. You know, granted, Raspberry Pi Foundation, they designed the board. They created this variant of Debian to run on their board. However, I bought the computer. I installed Raspbian, Raspberry Pi OS myself. It's my computer. I choose what happens on that computer, not them. <laughs> Anyways, sounds like a bit of a piss and a moan, but at first I was also kind of shocked that they did this. But anyway, that's how to stop it from working for now. If we need to change this in the future, I'll punch up another video. <laughs> Be good, guys. We'll see you tomorrow.